what's the mood like in the dressing room following that defeat against Berry? Um, to be honest, I don't know because we've only just got in. Um, but no, obviously it was a, a very disappointing result. Um, you know, a few home truths were told after the game, which needed to be said, and hopefully now the lads can come in and respond to the criticism we've all received and, and push forward. That's that's the life of a footballer, you know. You get criticised from time to time and you need to come back strong. Uh, hopefully we can do that on Tuesday. Now, you personally certainly weren't, wasn't criticised. Um, fans said you've had a pretty good game. So where do you think the problems lie at the moment in the squad? Well, it's not, it's not about individuals, obviously. It's nice to to be appreciated but it, you know as a captain of this football team and a, a team that I care about dearly it's important that we got three points on Saturday and we didn't do it uh, that comes as a collective effort um, you know first half was was very good at times second half was awful uh, it's important that we string 90 minute performances together even when the going gets tough you've got to stick together and you've got to you really, really knuckle down and give it everything you've got for the shirt and to get three points because you know football is life at the end of the day it's our life and it certainly affects it when you don't win on a Saturday and being in the situation we are is is extremely disappointing. How frustrating is it that you know, you've managed to get that well-battled point uh, down at Gillingham and a very solid first half on Saturday uh, to then throw it away and undo it with that second half performance? Very frustrating. Um, we're running out of games, thick and fast. Uh... <laughs>